There you go. Can you hear that okay? So I'm um, looking forward to talking with are you and you'll have to help me if I uh, say your name correctly, Fala Crew. Yes. So, very good. Uh, Ario is an author, an inventor, an architectural designer, and, and it's important to know that he's got 34 years of, ex of experience in architectural and in interior design. He helps almost a thousand clients put style into their lifestyle. Architecture is a combination of art and engineering, and Ario adds philosophy and psychology into the process to create harmony, functionality, and beauty in homes that stand the test of time. In his book, Beyond Ages, that is beyond-ages.com, he focuses on helping baby boomers to live a happier life with a holistic view of their living space, create a better lifestyle at earlier ages, to avoid mental concerns in later senior age and live in their home happier and independently. Arya loves to spend time with his family and travel as we would like to do after COVID <laughs> as many places as he can, put, but his passion is to design extraordinary homes for extraordinary people. He loves outside the box thinking and stays away from routine and cookie cutter approaches. His mission is to motivate his clients to build environmentally friendly homes that last the test of time and live happy within. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm thrilled that uh, this and tickled that you approached me and we could do this. Thank you for having me. Thanks. So I read your book, which is available in a Kindle version. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think there are some things that uh, the people that I talk to are going to be really interested in because we're all working from home or we've been telecommuting. We understand that we're going to be doing that for the rest of our lives and we want to find ways to make that better. And I think what you do for people really helps um, not, not just the people that are aging up, but their kids who are thinking about them and, and working from home as well and thinking about what their parents can do. Yes. So yes. maybe tell me about your background, how you got into this and your... Yeah. I studied architecture over 35, six years ago. And, uh, and then um, at that time during uh, studies, I was uh my idols basically were frank lloyd Wright or or uh frank uh, or uh le corbusier or this kind of uh, uh famous architect at the time and i was always wanted to be somebody like them uh but life passes and changes happens you get married and you have kids and uh, things that become routine and uh you know uh i did what I wanted to do in one aspect, but I never was happy to, uh, um, because you know I was doing the same thing as everybody else is doing. And I, I kind of uh, didn't feel that is what, I mean, I helped a lot of people to achieve what they wanted, but I, at the bottom of my heart, I was not achieving what I wanted, become somebody that I can uh, reach more people and helping more people until uh, like a couple of years ago that I started um, a self-development uh, program, uh, which was taught, taught by Bob Proctor based on the book, uh, Think and Grow Rich, above oh, uh -huh. uh, 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 Napoleon Hill. Uh, so that changed a lot of my mindset of oh, that's interesting. getting out of routine. And uh, you know, first of all, goal creation. And, you know, we have we, heard a lot of things about goal creation, having a business goal, having a personal goal. Sure. But, you know, still it never touched my heart until I actually got that through that course. Uh, and I always thought, okay, personal development is just not for me and all that kind of things. But <clears throat> I guess that time of, it was like by time, a right place, right location, right time, the right person to talk to me, to touch my heart. Yeah. And uh, I got more involved with uh, 
you know, I always had a spiritual mindset and philosophical mindset, but I got more involved with meditation. I, uh, I spent more time on uh, reinventing myself uh, to see who I am as a person and how I can help other uh, uh, individuals who are needing me. I and mean, what makes me different from other people anyway? What I'm offering that uh, gives a different edge to my service. <clears throat> so describe your service and your approach. So what you've been through in your personal development it clearly is woven into the work that you do. So uh, you're, the book has some wonderful examples of people that you've helped and what how you assessed their needs, which I think is unique for builders. I, I had always this mindset I want to go extra mile for my clients. Yeah. Uh, as a result, uh, whenever I wanted to design, uh, uh, let's say, for example, you're a client, you have a house or you have a, a condo or uh, whatever, your, your, your home, you want to either renovate it or you want to build something new. Um, I would I put myself in their shoes. Uh, before, sometimes, most of the time, clients come with their own mindset and say, okay, this is what I want. But that's not necessarily supposed to be what they is good for them it might not be even uh, you know because we become this the product of our society and whatever society feeds us we think that's good for us but there are times that we don't know really what is good for us until somebody else comes and tells us hey you have these things in your life that you better off change a little bit of your what you're thinking of and right. They get basically coaching them. I was not only a designer for them, I was basically trying to find their needs. I've been invited to many homes uh, to help them with designing their uh, existing, for example, existing homes that they wanted to mm -hmm. change. And they, most of the people had some ideas either from themselves or from their builder or from the neighbor, from their uh, friends. <laughs> Everybody gives their opinion and none of them are ex uh, expert in that what was my approach to them say okay what is your need what do you want in your life right. what is you bothering you here and what you're living and i was letting them to open up open up what what is that they are getting uh they're not getting what they want yeah and then when they open up when i listen to their needs then uh, i have my x-ray uh vision on the place and say okay if there is no walls what's gonna happen and how i can get their needs resolved by reinventing the whole uh place right so that was my value proposal that i was trying to get and i'm still doing it however uh what happened after that uh, reinventing myself i tried to uh, basically present this in a wider uh, audiences by writing the book and giving especially especially this topic of aging in place or senior living it is a most important part at this stage of our lives because we are getting a lot of uh, uh, aging aging population who were under undervalued or underserved uh we, we we live our lives with who who is in the government for example most of the people who are uh, ruling our our countries are people in their 40s or 50s and they don't care about people in the 60s and uh they their uh, their span of attention is that and most of the builders are the same and most of the designers on the stage mm -hmm. don't think of people who are in above 60s what do they need most of the time when we buy when we have a a, a newcomer coming in our life for example when we have a baby what we do we immediately we baby proof our, our home to make sure a baby is safe right right but why we don't have why we don't do age proof our our homes when we are getting to that point before even we get to that point right so what are some of the key things that people need to think about when they are planning 
for getting to getting ready before that point in their homes? Number one is mobility, mm -hmm. which is that physical point. Yeah. Number two, which is more than important, number one is our mindset. Yes. Our, our how we can keep our mindset sharp that see i'm not trying to uh, resolve uh, our physical illnesses i'm trying to delay them or avoid as much as possible imagine if you have uh, that happened to me myself if you want i can talk about it but i had a uh, vertigo it happened to me uh -huh. on december uh before uh, before uh christmas uh it, and i was falling apart because i couldn't control myself control my body control my uh uh i could i was not a person that, that I, I always am i am I, I i couldn't control my uh emotion um I was not be able to drive. I, I couldn't even sit in front of the computer and have a Zoom conversation with somebody. So when what was, about the way you have your house set up helped you? OK, that's what I want to get into. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, I was not able to walk, uh, have a fear of hitting in the, on the door or the wall. <sighs> but this can happen to anybody. Sure. And it happens, it's happening to any everybody anyway. And a result of this, is a subsequence of that could be fall and hurting yourself to breaking hips, breaking bones, which is gonna cause a lot of more troubles. You know, we have some issues. We just have to make sure that this issue, this issues doesn't cause another bigger problem. Right, right. The issue by itself can be resolved if we ha have a right uh, uh, direction or have, have a right, uh, uh you know methodology to fix it right but we don't want to make that problem cause another issue or another problem sure so the, the setup in the house was in a such a way that even though i'm still way to go to that point i i don't have clutter in my house i don't i have wide uh hallways uh -huh. the, the walk the, the 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 doorways are wide enough and the furniture has been set up, or even like, for example, in the kitchen, the, the, the peninsula or the island are, they don't have a sharp edges. Even if I was falling, the chances of that, that I was getting a, a big injury was a whole lot less. Sure, sure. Think your bathroom, you know, the bathroom is one of the major points of falls, major spot of falling in many, many seniors or, or even it, you know, we have to define who's senior anyway. Sometimes if he's if he say, okay, if somebody become uh, uh, more, uh, have a more mobility issues, they become a senior. But, you know, I am only 55 years old. <laughs> I got to that issue of a seniority problem. You needed the help yourself, it yeah. Anybody. It can happen to anybody. Well, you have done some wonderful things in reading the book, the, the family that had some issues with what the permitting would, would or would not let them do when they remodeled the house. And then they called you in to solve the problem. And miraculously, you looked at everything and did your wonderful assessment and discovered you could fix it with and improve their lives with and and one of the things you talk about in your book a lot is using natural light bringing a lot of natural that that darkness equals depression i love that statement yeah. because it is it resonates for any age right if you're going to work from home you need the right mental attitude and having uh, bringing in that natural light uh, i love that you talk about bringing nature in um and maybe you can talk a little bit. You were talking about LED lights, and uh, and we're going to start with the bringing nature in first, and then move on to yes, uh, please do. See, um, we are consumed with our material life so much that uh, we are not connecting as much to our to our uh, uh, what you can call to our. Um, 
uh, our primal nature, selves or, or to our nature to our spiritual uh, mm, being yeah. uh, that uh, it's our, our our needs are growing but we can we are not we are not uh, uh, feel fulfilling that needs right uh, the nature could be as simple as a plot as a pot a, 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 a plant I, I could be as as simple as a pet could be as simple as a, a fish aquarium could be as simple as a, a having a, a dog in your house or a cat these ones are basically connecting you with your own uh, nature that we are far away from we used mm -hmm. to grow we used to grow uh, we used to live in a nature in, in a farm or uh, in the in a forest but now we are living in a uh, concrete forest or we are living in a, mm -hmm. uh, you know um, people that's we just uh, with the you know with the, so much of cars that we are not connecting to our uh, uh, inner inner feeling that we are supposed to so when we have a, a, a pet like dog and cat we are basically physically taking care of them we give them food we give them shelter but the value that we get in return is a whole lot more we are they are taking care of our soul when you're sad they absorb our sadness and they, they, they transfer it to a happiness. When you come back out from outside and you're tired, their tail wiggling, their happiness <laughs> just makes a whole lot of difference. I mean, I, I don't have dog. I personally have cats. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, anytime that I'm, uh, I got, I get, uh, you know, negative energy uh, accumulated and my wife notices, um, she brings one of the either I used to have guinea pig as well. So she brought, brought the guinea pig to me to hold it or my cats. They basically <laughs> give me a, a joy that you cannot you cannot compare with any other way of uh, uh, calming down uh -huh. yourself. You know, meditation is a very good way of doing it, but it takes a lot longer time to get to the point that you really want want to get to that zen right. part. so but, what you're doing is more than just designing a place to live in it's a, a way of living in your home lifestyle. that's that's exactly what so it you, is. you it's like next level home building really because you're you're taking into consider how you or the person who's aging up would use that space to improve their well-being I do not like design four walls and a ceiling for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like and then, so, and I don't want to neglect how you treat a discussion of light and color and incorporating that. Um, especially for us who were living uh, uh, in, a, in a climate that we have a lot of uh, gloomy days. Uh, we have a lot of uh, cloudy days that it changes our mood. And, you know, regardless of how we can think about, we are uh, subject to uh, our weather around us and uh, the climate. We our our mood changes based on the sunlight. If there is more sunlight, we are happier. If there is less, we are not as much. Either it could be because of the uh, water molecule around us, or it could be anything that. Uh, resolves that there are some ways that we can uh you know when you know when i love to bring uh, 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 sunlight inside the house or inside our, our living space or our room or home as much as possible but when there is no sunlight how i can replace that either i have to replace it with uh, uh colors uh, in the uh, wall covering with the furniture or with LED lights. LED lights right now become the, the very interesting tool. Uh, you know, either illuminated pictures that uh, create that with the LED lights. It's amazing tool that how they can change the colors. Uh, like I, I remember I did one skylight for a, a client that uh, the, the rim of the skylight I put, there was a round skylight, I put, we put uh, a very interesting, uh, 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 motif of you know some material that it had 
uh, indirect light or cold light type of things behind it and the color were changing depends on the mood you want it was remote control i mean th this th technology yeah. are so good that you can basically you don't feel uh, uh, at the moment you don't want to have a, like a w blue wall i like just change it to green right. wall Right. It's, it depends on your mood. You can change it. Before we, like, for example, you have a, a, a picture of a, a sailing boat and a picture of a beautiful scenery behind you. These are right now are passive frames that stays there forever. It's a beautiful part of artwork. But what I put it behind me. I know it's fascinating. I've been watching it while we've been talking. It's wonderful. Mesmerizing, right? Yeah, it is mesmerizing. It's, I, I love nature and I love uh, to, to see different sceneries. I don't want to just see only a beautiful beach. Sometimes I see, you know, scenery of uh, mountains or uh, forest or animals. And, you know, it's just, and then uh, calming music. So yes, yes. going on behind in the, uh, uh, in the background, it just your your mind is always, you know, work, getting the, the relaxation that you need. At the same time, it helps you to focus on your uh, mindset, your project you're thinking of, you're working on. I like the way that you describe the three key elements that you need when you talk about installing a sound system and how important that can be to everything that you do inside the house. So if you're a remote worker, this can help your mood. I just, you know, I think these are things that maybe people don't think about as much. And certainly for parents who are aging up, if we're helping them with, set up their homes to think about things like that, that just might go over your head and you would miss that opportunity. A ventilation is a very important part as well. So when we are staying in the room for too long, our body creates uh, fumes and we are producing CO2 as well. So in the accumulating too much of our own fume, our own uh, CO2, it will uh, make the room heavy air and we re uh, mm -hmm. inhaling that, it will make us low in energy and requires to either get all outside to get a fresh air or have uh, something to drink but that's what, what I'm trying to say is if if you don't have a natural ventilation that can create that uh, airflow or air change mm -hmm. uh, it's a good idea to have a, a, a mechanical uh, equipment that it can do the job this is such an important point because I don't know if you were affected like this as we have been. So you're in Vancouver, we're in Seattle. The We're coming up on a fire season again. And I don't know about you guys, but yes. last year, and I think one or two summers before, we actually had to close up the entire house and run ventilation with extra filters. And so for people who are in California, Arizona, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, where this is something of concern where you have these possibility for these fires this summer. Yes. And yeah. some are already burning. So you're gonna close up your house, but you need to be able to plan for these things in your home that will help you with ventilation. I, uh, I think that's really important. I mean, of course, what you were talking about is seasonal. Yes, uh, yes. I mean, luckily, we were lucky was that last year we didn't have the situation. The, I'm, I'm so glad that we this year we have a little bit of a rain here and there that it reduces the chances of... Right, and we had a good snowpack, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it reduces the chance of a, a forest fire. But you're right uh, in that aspect, but I'm talking about the, the whole year round. In, in the wintertime, Correct. In the doors... Right. You were sleeping in a, in a room that's closing door. So we got to have a good ventilation system uh, or have some sort of either passive uh, uh, ventilation, which would be a window or active uh, ventilation mm -hmm. system, which is a mechanical system that is HRV or ERV or something like that, that it helps the, the, the whole airflow to, to uh, get the fresh air that uh, brings more it brings more oxygen fresh oxygen inside right so between the sound system the led the third thing you talked about was home decor and we talked a little bit about the plants and and animals and bringing nature into your home but um i love maybe you can talk a little bit about uh what you recommend people pull in uh okay 
Um, what I want to talk about right now is home decor. Uh, see, as I mentioned, when we when we, we get aged, we get older, as we get older, we lose less of our, we lose our motivation to, to, be, to be who we want to be. And we become to, we get to the life of routine so much. You remember when you were a teenager, you, you, or even you see any teenagers in today, is they put the, the best picture of whatever they wa want to be. Mm -hmm. Either they want, uh, they, they, they're in, in a music or in the sport or they're in the competition, uh -huh. whatever it is, they just blow it up, put it in a, uh, on the wall. Right, right. Or the same thing when you go to a restaurant with a theme, uh, you see, or in a cafe or a public place that they put, beautiful uh, image of something that they are famous for or they, 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 the theme about. But when we get to our own home, we get boring. We become so boring and we don't want to do that thing anymore. We, we are shying away from uh, exploring ourselves uh, or showing off our, 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 uh, our presence, our achievements, our activities. If you're an outdoor person, why not you put a, a whole big picture of a, a, a outdoor activities or a, a, mm -hmm. what, what, what even you, your achievement? If you had, if you want something, if you had, uh, you your your achievement is your your kid or something, whatever, uh, you can blow the big picture and hang it on the wall. Or if you like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, snowboarding. Something you love, yeah, something. You love. So with a few minutes left, maybe you can talk about this and how it relates to the sweet spot in your living room. So what I'm trying to get in from this here is when you, uh, the more you express yourself, the more you uh, uh, feel comfortable. When you feel mm -hmm. comfortable, your brain, your mindset is more fresh because the more we think you uh, make our uh conscious mind active the less chances are we be get into depression and uh, problems such that wonderful point yeah that's um, a wonderful point i appreciate that the sweet spot could be anywhere it could be in your living room could be your kitchen could be your uh, bedroom wherever you feel that comfortable zone for yourself if, if your comfort is being alone and reading a book uh, or you want to watch tv or you want to meditate, or you want to go over your daily life and write your journey or, or, or your journal or whatever you're comfortable with that you can create your sweet spot, but make one. Right, right. And then it might be a place where you have that hobby or you enjoy yeah. that morning cup of coffee or you wind down at night. I just love how you embrace this wonderful thought that you had for how to help people with their home. So Ario, thank you so much for your time. This is wonderful. I think that people will really enjoy your wisdom about how to build their environment and how you can help people uh, build that into the design of their homes. Thank, thank you, you so you. much. Bye. Have a good day. Yeah, you too.